Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're in the Vagabond series of Liz World and we are on day 28. Got it. 7.9 billion people in the world. But the streets are empty of life. They are not gone. They've changed. Where do I go? Don't stop. Never stop. Uh, tonight we have got a horde night. I've got a few things that are on the list aside from just the horde. Obviously, we need to go to the trader. There's a whole bunch of stuff and things in there that we need to get out of the boxes. As you can see, I've been consolidating, trying to fit everything that we're going to carry with us into one box. Um, this is the only box I haven't quite figured out because, of course, tonight's horde night, so I don't know how much ammo we're going to have afterwards. Plus, plus, everybody keep your fingers crossed that the trader will finally have us an SMG or at least a decent pistol. Uh, we shall see. And then, of course, I've got the vehicles that I can't take with me or probably won't be able to take with me. And the leftover food that are not already inside the We Are Definitely take, Taking These Things box. Is that everything? Oh yeah, I have to wait until after the Horde Night tonight to bring home the land claim block because I don't want anything respawning inside that building. So I can pick up all of my stuff and things here. So I've got a little bit more time that this stuff can go on. Uh, see, I've got so many bullet making material. Hopefully the trader has us uh, some bullet stuff. Uh, some bullet stuff. Whenever I go over there and we can actually get that manufacturing, but we're actually wasting time right now. I have got a... Uh, in to loot. We're gonna go over there, hopefully find an SMG or the trader will have us an SMG. Something that can allow me to use the 9mm because right now shotguns really are not gonna be very good for the base anyway. Plus, a shotgun will tear up the base as much as it will tear up a zombie. So I'm steering clear of the shotgun, even though it is within the realm of possibility given my current state of skill points, I'm not going to use them. Sadly. Uh, which reminds me. I need to figure out another weapon. I've got to be able to put points into it, otherwise late game is going to become an issue. I am using the AK, which is a... Uh, it's listed... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is it this one? Yeah, it's it's a fortitude thing, and I'm not planning on putting any points into fortitude. But, who knows? In this particular character, once I reach the city, maybe some points into fortitude probably wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. So... Wait, am I... Am I passing by it? Uh, it's, it's back here. Ah! Dead. Gum it, my back tire got wet. Okay, so do we go through the entire POI? I kind of feel like we do. We need the experience anyway. Not necessarily. As was pointed out in one of my live streams, somebody asked me why do a lot of people try to force levels? Because getting levels actually uh, makes the game stage higher and therefore the game harder. And yes, that is absolutely... I'm not sure how you did not hear me, but, you know, I'm not going to fuss. There they go. Um, yes, it absolutely does. Please, Lydia, get out of the way. <clears throat> I think I'm going to start leaving her at the base unless I actually actually need a panel. Um, what was I saying? Yes, getting extra levels does indeed cause the game stage to go up, which means most content creators tend to push for more levels. Dude, lost his head. Anyway, um... So if you're trying to delay the end game or you're trying to keep your uh, horde night down a bit or whatever, you probably don't want to push for levels, so to speak. You don't work either. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, but whenever you're trying to get to a specific pot part of the game, like... Uh, how did I just do that? Okay, uh... I'm getting a little scatterbrained here because I'm in the back of my head. The horde is tonight, so I'm I'm rushing. Editing list. Just cut all of that stuff out. Try to leave in as much as me fighting the zombies as you possibly can, but cut the rest of that out because I was just blabbing. Uh, my brain took like two turns and then got lost. Anyway, someone was asking me during a live stream, why do people push for levels when it causes your game stage to go up and therefore the horde night to get harder and the zombies to get harder? Uh... Simply put, the reason why you see most content creators doing that is for content reasons. Um, and 
as soon as they get done with one, I don't know, playthrough, they move on to another playthrough. So the faster the stages get done, the sooner they move to a new playthrough. Um, also, if you have like a particular thing that you're working towards and you're like, okay, well, in, in my stats here, these things, there's a specific perk that I want for whatever reason, like, uh, uh, say you want living off the land because you're actually working towards the farming stuff and things like that. That would be a reason why you would for force higher levels. Also, because uh, this particular character is going to be going into the city for a showdown of sorts. I'm, I'm not going to give too much away there, but I'm slowly giving tidbits away if anybody's, you know, paying attention. I'm giving tiny bits away about what's going to happen in the city, assuming it, it can actually happen because of lag reasons. But... Um, if there are reasons why you're pushing for the level, yeah, by all means, push for that level, get the point that you need for whatever it is that you're working on. But if you are actually a new player and you're trying to stall getting the tougher zombies, if you're still working on your horde base, definitely avoid the zombies rather than fight the zombies. Right now, I'm currently actually working towards points because there are things that I am trying to get to, things that I'm wanting to do with this character. So... Yeah, I would say don't necessarily follow all of the steps uh, that every content creator is putting out there because you may or may not want what the result of that is. Uh, go. I will get that. Okay, I'm bypassing a whole lot of this POI specifically so I can get to this area. So I can get to the better loots. Uh uh uh, they got it. Okay. You're not gonna show me any of the zombies until I get in there, are you? So let's try to land quietly. Not that we actually can, but we'll do, we're gonna give it a shot. There we go. Uh. Take out the zombies that I know I can kill them with one shot. That one I can't see the back of- I can only see the back of his head so I don't- Who is outside? So there's a chance I may not be able to kill him with one shot. Let me try it. Okay. And there's somebody outside making noise. What are you doing, Frank? Okay. Um. I'm not sure. Whoa. Where did you even come from? Did I miss a zombie? Probably. Uh, and I'm stuck a little bit. Okay. Well, at least I'll have some food for today. And there's a pipe shotgun. There we go. Okie dokie. Now we have that done. Let's go ahead and run to the trader because it's going to tell us whether or not we're probably going to get our SMG that I've been waiting for. And how much ammo we can make, because there's a chance that he might have gunpowder that I am going to need. Please let him have gunpowder this time. This should definitely be like a mainstay of a post-apocalyptic thing. If you know how to make gunpowder, make gunpowder. Wee, wee, wee. Okay. All of that was unnecessary. Uh, run to the trader. Oh, jeez. I have got too much stuff. You'd figure that would be a good thing. Okay, dokie. All of those things can get tossed because they are not coming with me regardless. I got 1600. Now, if you have an SMG, we can talk. Or if you have some gunpowder. I'm not going to buy the nitrate. Uh, gunpowder 100 and buy all of it. 
I have shotgun parts. I wouldn't mind some... Don't need baton parts anymore. I have made the highest tier baton I possibly can. Pistol Pete, Hollow Points, Learn an Elixir. I'll buy that one. Night Stalker, Twilight Thief. Get 5% more XPs at night. Could be useful. Uh, 44 Magnum. Still not what I'm looking for. Dude! I guess it's going to be a little while before you sell me what I actually need. Dadgummit. One of the houses in this town is also a house I'm living in in the server. And I happen to know that there's a lot of boxes at the bottom. It's a bit of a pain to get to. But if I can find that POI here, there's a chance I could get some good loot out of it. Hopefully an SMG. Or at least a decent pistol. Here's the house. Here's the house. Alright, there's really like only one thing up here that I'm even worried about. And that is not this one. I guess I'll take care of you too, Karen. Inside this room, there's a cop inside this room. Bookshelf in here. <laughs> ah, thank him. Not the info I was looking for. I will check the trash. Um, anything I pull from these, I'm just going to take it straight to the trader and buy, and sell it. Because I have already pulled everything that I'm going to pull for this run over here. I'll take that and sell it. Before the Horde Knight. If and you don't mind. Okay, that's it. That's up here. Uh, I don't know that there's another way up into the attic other than here, so I will just go ahead and... Okay. Jump at this wall. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go up here. Before I go into the basement. Let me up. And there's a whole hell of a lot up here to find. Don't worry about that. Uh... Down here is actually where I wanted to be. Anybody back here? Yes. This is not even the hardest chest that's in here. I need to hurry. <laughs> Do not get all of the cobblestone. It's very, very tempting, but don't touch it. Syllables. Blah. Yes. You know how to find me. Well, oh, maybe he's not. Yes. Hello? <laughs> you cop that to your face! I was kind of only sort of expecting you to find your way around there. I do apologize, this should have taken you a little bit more seriously. My bad. Uh, I think I woke up all of the dudes. That's like one of the little crawly dudes, though. Yeah. Uh, this is the room right here. Let's do that. Where are 
The other guy is. <laughs> he was feral. Right? Where's the other guys? Okay. Time to make the noise. Wakey wakey. I need you guys to wake up. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wake up. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I see a few of you guys up there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's like one of those slow death episodes. <laughs> okay, let's quickly grab the loot. I'm sure he'll find his way here eventually. Ammos? Okay. Hey, Frank! I was wondering what you were doing, dude. You're not allowed to get my music to go in by yourself, sir. You can't go find a whole bunch of your buddies to get this music going with you. You're not allowed. Uh, another baton. I'm gonna scrap that. We can drop those. Drop that. Drop that. Take that. Drop those. Tactical assault rifle, though. Okay. And there should be a hidden box, I think, on the other side. Run, 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 More dupes. Okay. Okay. Just remember, Hordenite, pack everything up, hit the trader one last time with whatever we find here in Hordenite, which usually isn't very much because, you know, stuff despawns. But should we get any decent loots that we wish to sell, we've got one last time to sell to the trader before we leave out. Okay. Straight to the trader. Now, the reason being is because of actually, um leveled off some of the stacks that I have. Like, I leveled it off, I'll take a hundred with me, but everything else is for sale. So, it's not necessarily that it would give me an extra stack, it's just I don't want to carry so much stuff that I don't have to look for things when we hit the next town. So, we're also going to sell a whole bunch of that stuff as well. Okay, so, does any of that stuff stack? Yeah, just a little bit. See, I've got a hundred of those. I've got a uh, hundred electrical parts, a hundred pipes, Things like that. I'll stack those where I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to combine that with maybe a, an item that I get during the horde. Uh, so we'll try it then. And I'll take these and throw it on top of that. And I've got more money. Okay, so we're, we've actually taken care of the money that we need for the next town. Out of curiosity, can I take these? I was wondering whether or not I could go ahead and pick these up, even though I don't have my land clam over here. Okay, so, uh, because we want to be able to get on the road as fast as possible in the morning, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set you out right there. How much worm do you have? Ugh. More than the bike had, so, you know, that's, that's not bad, I guess. We are going to take... Wait, where'd all my gas go? Oh, over here. <laughs> I was supposed to say, did I sell that? No! <laughs> uh, all of those are fine. I'm gonna hold on to the moonshine because I'm eventually going to need that. 
And then I've got all of this. So what I need to do is worry about Horde Knight now. I am going to... Make sure I top off on all food and drink. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Uh, no, give that back. I, I keep trying really hard to do the dumb and put that in there. Okay. Now then, everything else that's left, I'm going to have to fill up my pockets with. Which isn't very much, plus I'm going to have my work batches. Are these scrapped down? That's going to take a lot of time to scrap those down. Uh, I can go ahead and take these things out so I don't forget them. And I'm not worried about getting the clay back. And that's going to stay there until after we get back from Horde Knight. So, for Horde Knight... Let's take ourselves a few stacks of the ammos. Namely, we're going to try and get rid of every bit of our 9 mil. Because that's not the ammo we're mainly doing, you know? Sure. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's go back to the horde base and set up and wait to see whether or not anything interesting is going to happen. Should I have grabbed my ammo? This is going to be the last time I can see that trading... Excuse me. The, uh... Oh, 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 repair kits. I did not grab my repair kits. And I made those for a reason. And I'm also going to need a couple of pipes for the pistol. Uh, repair kits. Pipes. I mean, I'm not even close to actually having the top amount of candies that I can carry along with me, so I might as well take my monies and check the vending machine, because there's a chance. There's a chance. I don't need to grab any food, but I could grab some candies. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, health bar, eye candy. Uh, I don't really need the health bar, I don't think. If I need to come back and get it, I will, but I don't think I need it. Um, I've already got a couple of those, and it's basically for helping to fix breaks and stuff, so... Uh, Recog, you last for five minutes. I wonder if you can stack those. Pistol time! <laughs> I can use up all of my 9 mil ammo, please! Okay, hang in. Wait, 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 wait for it. Uh, audio. Turn it to around 60-ish. I'm gonna try not to turn down the audio to my actual recording, because last time it, it, you couldn't hear it at all, so... Oh, they're already back there, too. I throw away that tier one pistol. I don't think I could shoot through those. What you doing? Hey Lydia, can I give you this pistol and you shoot the bad guys with this pistol whilst I shoot them with a normal gun? Hmm. He's like, no, I'm a pacifist. Okay. Thick over there doing thick aerobics. Don't even pay attention, guys. That might be a thick on a thick on a thick. It's thickception. My worry is not the exception that happens to be going in the back, going on in the dark, the back rooms over there. You know, the back rooms. Uh, my concern is whether or not a cop is going to show up, and I'm not going to be paying attention to it, and it's going to knock me down there with them. So death's my concern. No, Ed, you're not allowed to do that, dude. No. You 
know if you guys would work together, you could actually get through that. I did give you a hole over there. Uh, do we have anything going on on this side? Let me just keep an eye on it. I don't want to ignore things that are going on and then suddenly there's like a collapse. I'm like, oh no, what happened? If you are back there, can I can I use a pipe pistol, pipe bomb? Come on over here. Guys, 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 reorient your come on! Come on. Rethink, you know I moved. I'd like to use some pipe stuffs on you. There we go. Nice. Is there anybody else? Uh, you two guys are... Okay. Apparently they are trying to help. Big Mama's like, I can help you, bam. perfectly okay for you guys to sit back there. I was just really kind of hoping to use up some stuff and things. Can I lob this over there? Yeah. Nice. Got him. <laughs> This pistol, though, man. Have a thousand ammo. There's no way at this rate that I'm gonna be able to go through all of this ammo. Why did I? Why did I get rid of the potty pistol? They're all like, "Let us out! Let us out!" He's like, "Let me in! Let me in!" You guys are just really obsessed with this area for some reason. Wait. I didn't finish beating the hole out. I got distracted. Jeez. Eh, well, that sounds like something I would do. Um. Too high go down for the bag. I want to know what's in the bag. Um. Is there a way I can get down there without breaking something? Maybe? <laughs> I got the bag. Nice. My turret's gonna be very, very confused about how to get back to me, but I got it. Wait. Oh, a cop. Uh, yep, you are probably gonna have to explode. There you go. There's my turret down there in all of that. That's not good, Lydia! Oh, there you go. Are you still over here? Yeah, a lot of them, actually. Uh, it, it keeps bouncing over to the other side. Let's do that. Oh, and of course, nobody's over here right now. Dang it! Thank 
This is your fault, sir. Get your ankle in. Uh-oh. Somebody drop me a bag. Let me see if I can clear this area out and I can go get it. There's another bag. It's just Ed. Okay. Got it, got it, and... Lady, you scared me. I thought you were a zombie that was like right behind my head. Ooh, got a whole bunch of bad guys sitting over here. Do we? like five shots with this thing in order to kill them but he does the shot so well it practically takes all six shots to kill him. Oh one refill per zombie. Are you okay I felt that No, I was about you come over here and explode. There you go. <laughs> Did you take out the fluffy? That was rude of you. Yeah, he took out the fluffy. Hey, look, they're almost through. Precisely where I wanted to land, but I guess that I went. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Uh oh. Oh, it's a blue bag. It's a blue bag, guys. Okay. No, not what I meant to do. Nice. <laughs> that was not bad. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Okay, I'm I'm safe. I'm safe. Uh, I was hearing a bird. Where is it? Does it take that many bullets to go through the glass? Are you kidding me? Right there. There we go. I think they got everybody though. Easy. Oh, looks like a puffers. Did I get it? I don't think so. Go get the last of them. Try and place those shots a little bit better. You got my back! You got my back. Okay, gotcha. You did? Ah. Guys, it's like... The, the fog is real. Oh my gosh, look at the fog that rolled in. Oh, hang on. And of course all of them left about the time I decided to pull these out. What are you guys doing? I can't see. Sure? I, I don't think I need to be carrying these things along with me, so use them. Come on, everybody come stand over here. There we go. Didn't get anybody that time. Where are they at now? Oh, I can see Ed. Uh, looks like there's somebody else over there with him. Okay, is everybody going over there? 
Can I throw this over there? Is that gonna get him? Okay, got, got somebody. <laughs> Did I shoot you? Okay. I can see outlines of people. Hang on. More shoes and hand grenades, guys. Nice. I, I can't actually... There's some kind of movement going on over there, but I can't tell what it is. Your giggles. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's starting to thin out. I can see the ground again. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's a big old group over there. Get him. Oh, that one actually made it in the hole. Oh, way far into the hole. Everybody? Uh, I probably need to come up with a safer way of getting downstairs instead of just falling down there because that's just a bad idea. Okay. Let's get back out here. Hey, dudes! How you doing? Uh, actually, come on. Wait, wait for it. There we go. Yes, lady. I know it's a ridiculous weapon to use and you're just kind of laughing at me, but I am trying to get rid of this ammo. Okay, is that all of the bags that I got? Jeez. Okay. Now I need... Was it ten stone? Ten stone to make a... A land claim really quick so that I can move my land claim box over there so that I can get all my stuff. So what we're gonna do is before we end it, I'm gonna run back towards base and I'm going to look for a quick tune I can smack on. There we go. Okay, she just popped out of the ground like a daisy. Nine. That's enough. Let's go! We do have time because we're supposed to be sticking around this town until the trader opens anyway. Not that the zombies gave me a whole heck of a lot to sell anyway, but... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end it here. And hopefully we can get everything moved down to see Trader Jen in the next episode. Also, we will be upgrading to... Let's see, what are we on? Nomad? So we'll be going up to Warrior as well. So I'll see you then. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!